team, I hope you're all well. Today I am going to be filming a casual version of Bookopoly. Um, I, the room is a mess upstairs because I've been so busy with the launch for the shop and whatnot. So we're just going to do it here downstairs instead. Um, but I'm really, really excited. February was not a good month for me uh, as far as life and also reading is concerned. Um, for those of you that have been around a while, You'll know that I lost my grandpa in February, so we have been going through all of that as a family. And therefore, my reading suffered, which, you know, is okay, it's fine, but I didn't get through my TBR. Um, I probably will maybe do a wrap-up uh, for February, we'll see. I might combine it with January's because I've still not done a January wrap-up yet. Because I've been life slumping, I don't like to film videos that I hate doing anyway, which my wrap-ups are one of those. So... I haven't filmed one of those yet for January. I don't know if I'll film one for February. I probably will on the basis that I haven't done reading vlogs consistently in February either because I did fall off of that bandwagon as well. Um, but I am really, really excited to do a TBR for March um, and just get a bit of a fresh TBR. February's TBR was overwhelming. I forgot how big February's TBR was. It was incredibly overwhelming. So I am hoping for a bit of a smaller TBR this month and then I can do a bit more mood reading if I have room to do so. Um, but yeah, we will be doing this using my Steph Loves Bookopoly board inspired by Becca's Bookopoly. I will leave a link to Becca's channel down below so you can go and check her lovely face out. Um, but yeah, this is inspired by Becca's Bookopoly and this is my version of it. I didn't do an updated board for 2022, but there may be an updated version coming soon. I don't know how soon. It depends on when I can get stuff to make a new one and when I can be bothered to actually do it. But... I am hoping to do a new one soon because I've come up with some new ideas which I didn't have back in 2021 and now I've got them in 2022 thanks to Man and Jade's Patreons. <laughs> Teamwork to make the dream work. So I'm not going to hold that up the whole time that we play this game, that we do this game even. Let's put that there so you can you can see it in the background. There you Sit ma'am. There you go. Um, so I have a new update for the game. For this month which will roll forward and does have a lot to do with the updates that i'm going to have on the board when i redo the board so we now have the train house teapot which is full full of goodies full of a bunch of um prompts that my patrons and jade's patrons have come up with for me um they are very train specific related I, I don't know how we got on this tangent, but we did, and I'm excited for it. I'm here for it. Actually, I do know it's a lot to do with the final book support group, but I'm really excited about it, and I'm looking forward to it, and it will influence some of the changes coming to the board in the future, but I don't want to spoil that just yet. So, for the time being, let's go with what's in here. So, I, it is full of prompts that I've popped in here. Um, they all have names attached to them as well for the people that suggested them for me and basically these are different types of prompts that when i roll a double i was thinking of different ways that i could do things differently without putting too much pressure on myself with rolling a double so although we've come down to a pie so i only have six rolls um it does i do could still end up with like 12 rolls let's say i was really fucking unlucky and i rolled a double on every single roll i could end up with 12 rolls um so i the whole point was that i bring it down and narrow it down to more mood reads so my plan now is that when i get a double i move the spaces that's my prompt but then i pick something out of here now not all of these are reading prompts some of them are self-care prompts some of them are treat yourself to a new book take a nap do a face mask eat a sweet treat you know others are finish the final book in a series or um pick up a fantasy or smut or something but again actually the pick up a fantasy is wrong it's just fantasy smut and again i have said that to my patrons that i'm gonna write those down as fantasy or smut not read a fantasy or read some smut because it could be a movie instead you know so i'm allowing myself to just be a little bit non-restrictive with these prompts 
and uh, just go with the flow a little bit. And I'm really excited about it because I think it's going to bring a new dimension to the game a little bit and I'm hyped. So I hope you are also hyped and I'm hoping that we get some doubles so that I can show you exactly what I mean with some of these prompts. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So the readathons that I'm taking part in this month, I have my own readathon with the final book support group. Uh, if you want to know more about the final book support group, I will leave the announcement video in the description box down below so you can go check it out if you want to. The announcement video did go up on Tuesday this week, so I'll link it up here, link it in the description box. Go check it out, I would recommend. Um, we are running from the 14th to the 20th of March, which does overlap with G's mini magical readathon, which I am going to look a little bit more into. I haven't had a chance over the weekend because of the shop, but I'm going to look a little bit more into and see if I can make my books fit some prompts for that as well. Um, so I will potentially be taking part in that one as well, but definitely the final book support group. And on that basis, I'm hoping that I can get some final books in a series on my TBR for this month. If not, they will be part of my mood reads and it's absolutely fine. So, without further ado, my battery's about to die. Let's get into the first roll and I'll swap this out. Okay, so last time we ended on a community shelf, so that's where we're gonna start. So for the first roll, we have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, a romance and our first piece of pie in there okay so roll number one brought us a romance and i'm really really excited because i've been wanting to continue on with this series for ages and i'm excited because the final book in the series it's a duology and it is the him duology by serena bowen and l kennedy the first one in this series is him and this is the second in the duology, which is Us. And this is following Wes, Ryan Wesley. That was confusing. It's because he goes by the name Wes. Ryan Wesley and Jamie Canning. And basically they are best friends. Um, but this is like a friends to lovers series. So in the first book, we see their relationship develop. And then in this one, we're following them continuing on from that five months later. Um, and I think it's a case of they're having to hide their relationship because they are pro hockey athletes. And uh, I think it's like deemed, I don't know, not a great thing or something to be a gay in the NHL. I have no idea what the reasoning is behind it, but they're hiding their relationship. And I think Jamie doesn't agree with that. Whereas Wes is, seems to be coasting okay with it. So I'm looking forward to continuing on with this one. I really did enjoy him when I read it and it was a while ago now since I read it. So I'm really glad that I'm going to continue on with this one and finish this series. There is also a novella that completes this series. I don't know if it's book 1.5. So maybe I might need to read that one first. Let's double check. Oh, it's book 2.5 epic. So I may read that as well. Only 78 pages. Um, which I will probably also read. But I'm really excited to have these covers because I did buy him while I was at um, Dial Lane, which is an independent bookstore in Ipswich while I was at Jade. And then Pris sent me us from the German Amazon because it wasn't available in the UK one. So I'm really excited to have these covers. They're so, so beautiful. So yeah, really excited to read this one. And I'm looking forward to the fact that it is the one of the books that I can read during the final book support group readathon because it is the final book in a series. So I'm looking forward to that one too. For our second roll, we have seven again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A YA fantasy and a piece of pie struggles in there. Roll number two was a YA fantasy and I haven't really picked up many YA fantasies recently. I've been kind of avoiding them. To be honest, I've been kind of avoiding fantasy as a whole, but if I have been picking them up, they've been adult. Um, so I, it will be nice to try and finish some of the YA fantasy series that I have at the moment. And one of those that I've been dying to read and I don't know why I've been putting it off. I think it's because I'm terrified that it's going to be bad. And I don't know why because I've heard really good things. And it is A Vow So Bold and Deadly by Bridget Camera, which is the third and final book in the Curse Breaker series. Um, a Curse So Dark and Lonely was my favourite book of 2019. That makes sense, right? 20. 20, yeah 2019 and then a heart so fierce and broken i think it's still got five stars but i didn't enjoy it half as much as well 
I did, but I didn't love it as much as I loved um, A Curse So Dark and Lonely. So I am a bit nervous about this one. But A Curse So Dark and Lonely basically follows uh, Prince Wren and also Harper. Yes, Prince Wren and also Harper. And it's basically Beauty and the Beast retelling. Wren has a curse on him. The only person that lives at his... Um, Castle is Grey, who is one of his guardsmen. Everybody else has been kind of killed or has run off. And um, there is a curse. Harper gets kidnapped from her, you know, from the normal world and taken to Ren's world and they end up falling in love. The usual storyline of Beauty and the Beast. Then in the second book, we follow Grey and Leah Mara. And um, I didn't enjoy that storyline as much, as much as I love Grey. I really did miss Ren and Harper because they were only in it a little bit towards the end. But I'm really, really intrigued because I know the cliffhanger for A Heart So Fierce and Broken was something rotten so i am looking forward to picking this up i think i'm just terrified about where it's going to go but we're now following all four of them again so we're back with uh harper and wren and then we've also got gray's pov and also leah mara's pov as well so we've got four povs i think to follow um so i am looking forward to this one i'm intrigued to see what's going to happen so another series to complete as well which i'm really excited about so Doing a good job here with the support group. Roll number three is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A graphic novel or manga. Piece of pie in there. If it wants to go in, that is. There we go. Then we had a graphic novel or manga and I've managed to find another one that completes the series. Again, really excited. Another purchase from while I was with Jade. I got this from the Waterstones in Ipswich and it is the Tea Dragon Tapestry, which is the third graphic novel in the Tea Dragon Society series. Um, and I really, really love this series. I have really enjoyed this graphic novel series so far. Uh, it's just a really cute series about tea and dragons and their little society. And it's just beautiful. I actually don't know if there's going to be any more after this one. But um, I'm looking forward to it. So it will get me caught up at least with the series, even if it is the, not the last one. But if it is the last one, then I will have finished the series. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one and continuing on with the series and finishing it off. So very excited to put the tea, dra tea dragon tapestry on my TBR. Try saying that when you've had a drink. <laughs> Roll number four is a double. And it is two, one, two, horror or thriller. So a piece of pie in there. Plus, we get the opportunity to use the teapot, which I'm really excited about. So in here, we have a whole bunch of prompts and we are gonna shuffle them around a little bit. And pull one out. Let's go for this one. And we have Ghost Train. A spooky read, which was a recommendation from Emily. What are the chances of landing on horror and then getting a spooky read as a prompt <laughs> as well? Um, exciting. <laughs> then we got a double for roll number four, which means that I get to show off my train house teapot thingamajig and I'm really excited about it. So we moved our spaces and the first prompt was for a horror or a thriller. And for this one, I'm gonna go with We Were Kings by Court Stevens, which is an arc. I've been sent this by the publisher, um, Harper 360, I think have sent me this one. So thank you to them for sending it over to me. Yep. Harper 360 have sent on this this one to me. It has already come out in the States, I think. February 15th is the date on here. But in the UK, this doesn't come out until March 31st. So I would really like to read it in March uh, and give it a good read. And I believe that it says on the back, a 20-year-old crime, an accelerated death penalty, an elitist family cover-up. Nyla races against the death row clock to save the woman who the world is rooting for and against which side will you choose? I'm really intrigued by this one and I'm really looking forward to it. So I think this is gonna be a really great thriller to be picking up, um, especially in the month of March. So, and I do wanna read more thrillers. So really looking forward to this one. And even though it's not like 
part of the final book support group I feel like I'm still like going towards it and aiming shooting for the stars because you know it's an arc and it's on my TBR and I'm gonna read it before it comes out <laughs> I don't know who I think I am right now. But anyway, I had to pull from my pot. So I did. And you know what came out? I forgot to tell you about this, by the way. But if I can get this to double up with something else on my TBR, I will do as well. Like, you know, although my doubles, I am bringing them down a little bit because some of these are self-care prompts but not all of them are so it will mean that on a case it could happen that i get 12 pro i get six doubles and i do pull out six extra books so if i can double them up i will do where i can but the one that came out for this one was ghost train a spooky read which was put in there by emily so ironically enough, I could still read this. It's a thriller. I see a spooky read as a horror slash thriller. I could read this for that prompt. However, I have put another book on here just in case. Well, not just in case, I have to read it. I'm on the tour for it. So uh, I've put Parallel Hells on here by Leon Craig, which is in a horror anthology, and I'm really looking forward to it. I don't read a great deal of horror, and I want to get into it a little bit more. And the text in here is short as well. So I'm looking forward to it. It says, some say that hell is other people and some say hell is loneliness. In the 13 darkly audacious stories of parallel hells we meet a golem made of clay learning that its powers far exceed its creator's expectations. A ruined mansion that grants the secret wishes of a group of revelers and a notorious murderer who discovers her Viking husband is not what he seems. In this deliciously strange debut collection, Leon Craig draws on folklore and gothic horror in refreshingly inventive ways to explore queer identity, love, power, and the complicated nature of being human. It sounds fantastic, it's not very long, so I am really looking forward to this one, and I am hoping to get to both of these, but either of them could double up with the other prompts. So. I have to read this because I'm on the tour and really I probably should read this because I've been sent it and it's an arc and the release date is the 31st of March but um, I could drop one for the other. Not really but you know as far as the uh, rules concerned of the game but the go we're both going on so that's how the teapot works essentially so I'm gonna just um, that can go back in the teapot as well they're recyclable. That was unnecessary. So rule number five is 10. That took me a hot minute then. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, a contemporary. And we have piece of pie in uh, there. Push that all around the board, why not? Roll number five brought as a contemporary, and for this one, I'm actually going to pick up a book that I got partway through during Polathon. Didn't pick back up, but I really want to get back to. So I'm going to go for the Simple Wild by K. A. Tucker. Um, I did get partway through this. I am on page 130, but I didn't carry on, and I would really, really like to. We're following Calla Fletcher who wasn't even two when her mother took her and fled Alaska, unable to handle the isolation of the extreme rural lifestyle leaving behind Calla's father, Ren Fletcher, in the process. Calla never looked back, to, looked back and at 26, a busy life in Toronto is all she knows, but when Calla learns that Ren's days may be numbered, she knows that it's time to make the long trip back to the remote frontier town of her birth to attempt to fix their estranged relationship. Um, I think basically this is Calla like, rebuilding relationship with her father, Ren, not rebuilding a relationship because she never really had one but making a relationship with her father Ren but also going through the grieving process as well because I assume I don't know what happens whether I don't know what happens as far as that's concerned which is one of the reasons why I put it down but I still am gravitating towards it so I want to pick it back up but I think there's going to be a romance in here as well who is uh, Jonah who seems very grumpy at the moment so we have a little bit of grumpy sunshine going on but I also think that Cal is going to learn a lot from this as well because uh, the moment she's a little bit of a snob um, and obviously Alaska is kind of I don't know very different to what she's used to and i think she's gonna have to rethink her ways of life uh, a little bit so i'm really looking forward to continuing on with this i've heard of nothing but good things every time i mention it everyone goes oh my god you're gonna love it it's gonna be amazing blah 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 i have the whole series just in case i want to binge it <laughs> so that's going on my tbr i know it's starting a series it's fine i have three that i'm gonna finish in the month of march at least so whatever and um, for all number six, 
we have eight, but also a double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. An adult fantasy piece of pie in there. Plus, back to our little jar. Oopsie. Let's go for, oopsie, oopsie. They're all falling out. This one, which is, okay, nice. Real card, buy a book from Caitlin. Thank you, Caitlin. <laughs> And then the sixth and final roll was another double. So obviously I got to pick from the teapot again. Um, but for the prompt, we did have adult fantasy. And for this one, I am going to put my buddy read on here with my Patreons, which is the March, April buddy read. But I'm going to try and read it in March because I really want to get to it in March for reasons but i really want to get to it in march and that is a darker shade of magic by ve schwab um we have voted on this one and this one at the moment is currently winning but i don't see it losing to anything else at the moment because this is winning by 16 and the next one is nine and it the poll runs out tomorrow so um i reckon this one's gonna win uh, but either way, I will keep this on and just read whatever else wins if it doesn't. So I'm really looking forward to this one. I haven't read this series before. I know it's starting another series, but I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I know this is one of Jade's favourite series, so I'm hyped. And this is following Kel, who is one of the last Antari magicians with a rare coveted ability to travel between parallel Londons. There is Red London where life and magic are revered. Grey London without magic and ruled by Mad King George III and White London, a city slowly become, being drained through magical war down to its very bones. And once upon a time there was Black London, but no one speaks of that now. Officially, Kel acts as an ambassador and messenger between the Londons in service of the Maresh Empire. Unofficially, he's also a smuggler, a defiant hobby with a dangerous with dangerous consequences, as proved when he stumbles into a setup with a forbidden token from the Black London. Fleeing into Grey London, Kel runs afoul of Delilah Bard. I've heard so much about this character. Um, a cut purse with lofty aspirations. She first robs him, then saves him from a deadly enemy, and finally forces Kel to spirit her to another world for a proper adventure. But perilous magic is afoot, and treachery lurks at every turn. To save all of the worlds, they've, they'll first need to stay alive. Prepared to be dazzled to buy a world of parallel Londons where magic thrives, stars, or lies forgotten, and where power can destroy just as quick as it can create. It sounds fascinating, so I'm really looking forward to this one. I'm just hoping that I don't find the magic system too complicated, because it does sound like a lot. But, otherwise, I'm really looking forward to it. So, this is my... Um, for adult fantasy the book i'm picking for adult fantasy i don't know i struggle with that sentence but because we had a double i also had to pick from the pot and this time we got rail card which was to buy myself a book thank you caitlin for that act of self-care i really appreciate it um so at some point throughout the month or do we do it now do i treat myself now i don't even know what's on my wish list anymore shall we have a butcher's okay so I'm really interested in that Ghostly Tales um, and also the Silent Woods. I know that that's, um, I think it's Gabby's book club read for this month, February. I do want the Celtic Tales though as well. I've heard such good things about To Be Totally Fortunate as well. Um, oh, I don't have as much on there as I thought I had. I think, do I teach myself, to treat myself, teach myself? I think I'm going to treat myself to the Celtic Tales. Add a basket. Why the heck not? You know? Um, cool. So I treated myself to the Celtic Tales. I'll show a picture of it here because the filming didn't even work on the phone. So that was awesome. So I have treated myself to a book. Success that will come tomorrow so that's this is everything that's on my bookopoly tbr we have us for a romance we've got a vow so bold and deadly for a ya fantasy we have tea dragons Tap tapestry for a graphic novel or manga we have we were kings for a horror or thriller parallel hells for a 
uh, spooky read from the tea teapot thing uh we've got the simple wild for a contemporary and we also have um why am i struggling with the title of that a dark shade of magic for an adult fantasy this looks really nice and i'm really happy with it and knowing that the top three will probably be read in that week for the final book support group is very exciting it means i only have four left which is very nice indeed. So I'm really happy about it. Nice mix as well of fantasy, romance, um, graphic novel, horror, thriller. So really happy with that. I do have two more books here to mention before we go into my Patreon pull. So the first book I'm going to mention is that I will be partway through House of Sky and Breath when I go into March because I'm starting a buddy read of this this week, which is the last week of February. So I did just want to mention it. This will end up on my March wrap up because I will have finished it in March, not in February. Um, but I am starting a buddy read of it this week with Tandem. So there is that so i'll be reading that in like the first week of march ish and then also the middle grade monthly pick for march is bright storm by uh, vashti hardy i have read this before but i want to reread it because i really really enjoyed it and then the second book we are reading in april i think if i remember correctly um so i am looking forward to giving this one a reread in the month of march also and then we have the um, pick from my Patreons. I feel like I need to try and get some more of these in here. There aren't that many in, but um, I'm a little bit terrified because I can't remember what else is in, what, what's in here now. Let's find out what's on here. Oh, shit. Yes. Iron Widow from Pris. Okay, let me go get that. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, I'm not even a little bit mad about this because I've been avoiding picking this up because I know Pris put it in the pot and I knew it was going to come up at some point. So, thank you very much, Pris, for putting this in. I know that she's absolutely loved this. She read it earlier on this year and she freaking loved it. And I'm fairly certain that Ro has loved this as well. This is the Illumicrate edition and it's absolutely stunning. And I'm so excited about reading it because it's been compared to Pacific Rim. And I fucking love Pacific Rim. So anything that's compared to Pacific Rim, Hard Reboot by Django Wexler was compared to Pacific Rim. And I really enjoyed that book. So anything that's compared to that movie, I will read. So, sorry, I just went upstairs for this. I'm out of breath. Tell me you're unfit without telling me you're unfit. Anyway, um, you've been living a dream for long enough. Welcome to your nightmare. The boys of Hoaxia dream of the celebrity status that comes with piloting chrysalis seas, giant transforming robots that battle the aliens beyond the Great Wall. Their female co-pilots are expected to serve as concubines and sacrifice their lives. When 18-year-old Zetian offers herself up as a concubine pilot, her plan is to assassinate the ace male pilot responsible for her sister's death. But on miraculously emerging from the cockpit unscathed after her first battle, she is declared an Iron Widow, the most feared pilot of all. Now that Zetian has had a taste of power, she sets her sights on bigger things. The time has come to stop more girls from being sacrificed. The Handmaid's Tale meets Pacific Rim in this dazzling blend of Chinese history and mecha science fiction. It also sounds like it's got a little bit of, like, girls of paper and fire in there as well, and I'm so here for it, you know, like, rising up and saving the girls and stuff i love that i'm really here for it. it sounds like it's got a lot of girl power in it and i'm so so excited i'm really really hyped i'm so glad this has come up pris thank you so much you are an angel uh so very hyped to that one thank you my love i'll pop that in there so i know that this has come from you um looking forward to that one so my tbr now i am going to take this off here because uh it will be read within the first week um but my tbr now looks a little bit more like this which again doesn't seem ridiculous for me anyway um so i'm very very excited about my tbr for the month of march this has worked out lovely lovely and i'm really loving this pot as well um do let me know if you have any suggestions for me i don't know if you noticed but they are train themed so we had rail card which was to buy a book we also had ghost train which was to read a spooky read we have like the continuation station which is to continue with the series we've got um end of the line which is to read the last in a series we've got a whole bunch of selections i think we've got sleeper car which is 
take a nap. <laughs> Um, so if you have any recommendations, let me know in the comments down below. Absolutely not necessary at all because I have a shit ton anyway. But if you do have any, let me know. Always here to listen to some more uh, train puns. Um, and I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below if you're reading any of these. Let me know in the comments down below if you're taking part in the support group readathon. Also in the mini magical readathon. I'm so excited for G for that one. So really hyped, especially about the fact that we're going to be sharing the week as well. It's going to be really good. And I've no doubt that you can make your books kind of cross over if you want to take part in both. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.